Hold on a second, let that settle. Uh, Add on this beer. Well, you were a bartender? Come on. You pour from the pitcher? <laughs> Here's to you. Cheers, man. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, Barry. Thanks, 2016. When did you start working at Eater? My first job was to edit the New York season, the well, second so you season. you edited the New York season? I, so I, I spent the last year of my life watching you eat. We've managed to stay out of trouble for, like, the amount of ground we've covered. Shh, 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 shh. Don't needs to rest. Have you eaten a lot of great food? There's been a lot of great food. I'm trying to think of places that really stood out as far as like food quality. I, um, I remember you were really, really excited about the hibaritos. Oh, that was a great sandwich. The crunchy plantain yeah, exterior. The, plantain the whole thing was so good. This might be my new favorite sandwich. Is there any questions in the comments section that you want to like from here on out to just kind of answer and be like, this is what it is? Um, How tall are you? I always thought I was 6'3", but then I went to the doctor, and I'm like 6'2 and a half. I'm shrinking, James. Well, I In mean, my I old hope age. so. It is hard to shoot you up against like these very small cashiers. Like at uh, the Lebanese place. The Lebanese place, that's a great example. That girl may have been 3'5", if she was a foot. She was Actors generally have big heads and are very short, and it is because they want the male leads to be the same height as the female leads because they're easier to film. Tom Cruise, Prince. Prince was in movies. Yeah, totally. That was Lucas in Westworld. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in Westworld. Tandy Newton, we got along super well. She is the sweetest woman, by the way. So nice, so generous. How many languages do you speak? I can get along in like five. As People who commented on uh, the Kembo food trek from the first season noted it's my Chinese is okay. Some of my tones are a little bit off. I used to live in China. I'm Chinese on my mother's side. I speak Mandarin, not Cantonese. And then uh, I speak Dutch, I speak Spanish, I speak English, and I can kind of get along in German. I really want to do it like an Amsterdam season. Then we can then, then I can speak Dutch. There you go, show off that Dutch. No. Where do you want to go next? Besides Amsterdam, we've covered that. Uh, Oh, we want to do Italy. Oh man, could you imagine? Italian food is just one of my favorite foods. And so being able to do... Well, you're a carb fanatic. Oh man. So yeah, anyone Bane in the olive oil business, <laughs> you want to send us to Italy. I would love to go to Italy. Could oh. you imagine like doing like that Emilia Romagna area? Prosciutto and pesto and... Parmesan cheese, like I just, I eat. I get Parmigiano Reggiano and I just like eat it. Where do you want to go? Oh, me? Mexico City is like where I'm at. Uh... Oh yeah? A little DF? A little DF. Are you DTF for DF? I am totally <laughs> down to toy with friends uh -huh. in the DF. Favorite moments? Dance with Barb, Austin, Texas. She is a, she was a trip. Fun. Money. Right. Okay. Were I 10 years older, maybe 20. Yeah, you know. But then again, age doesn't mean a thing. James Berry, you, I have to thank you. You have been such an integral part of this show and the success of this show this past year. Uh, I'm very like honored to know you, and I'm so happy you're on the team awesome, and that man. you have done so much for the show, and I really have to thank you. Thanks, man. You've been a great host. You're so easy to work with. Just the bottles of Cristal yeah, that we have to buy, the limos that we have to comp. Yeah, hopefully, we'll have a great 2017. Oh. And uh, let us know where you want us to go. Yeah. Sound off in the comments. Smash that like button. See you next time. <laughs>